Welcome, Mr. Handicapper. Let's take a look at race number 12 at Parks Racing. The Grade 1 Pennsylvania Derby. Mile and eight with a purse of a million dollars. One of several really nice races, graded stakes races on Saturday at Parks. It's also the million dollar grade one cotillion. I will be posting analysis for that race. Let's take a look at the field in the Pennsylvania Derby. You got four grade one winners in this race. Take a look at the one horse, Zandon, out of seven races. Zandon has never been out of the money. He's a closer. He might get a pretty decent pace in this race. There's a few things that I like about him. Last time I finished third in the Travers at a mile and a quarter. I don't think that's his preferred distance at all. One of the things I like about him in this race, he's cutting back to a mile and an eight. I think that's a big help for this horse. I also like that he's getting Joel Rosario. I'm going to tell you another benefit for Zandon. He doesn't have to run out against Epicenter. Uh, he's taken on Epicenter four times. And every time he takes on Epicenter, he finish, finishes behind Epicenter. So, good thing for Zandon. There's no Epicenter in this race. Getting 5-1 to one on the morning line. Might get bet down a little bit more than that. But I will use Zandon on my tickets. Take a look at the two horse, Icy Storm at 30 to 1. Just three races back. He was running the claiming 12 5 9 winners of three lifetime. So why is he in this race? Well, I don't know. Getting 30 to 1 on the two horse, Icy Storm. Then there's the three horse, B Dog, at 20 to 1. He'll most likely be part of the early pace. B Dog has taken a huge step up in class here. Last time out, he was in an allowance nine winners of two lifetime. I think it's pretty ambitious. Getting 20 to 1 on the three horse B Dog. Take a look at the four at 10 to 1, Skippy Longstock. Take a look at Skippy's last four races. In the Wood Memorial, he finished third. And next time out in Preakness, followed it up with a fifth place finish. And ran into Belmont, put up a pretty nice speed figure. Finished third in that race. Last time out, won the West Virginia Derby on a sloppy track. He's really been showing some improvement, Skippy Longstocking. He's got some nice speed figures, too. Getting 10 to 1 on the four horse, Skippy Longstocking. Then there's the five horse, Cyberknife. I'm tell you, early on he was kind of difficult. He was immature, he was green, but he's so talented. He still won races. I mean, out of ten races, he's got five wins in three seconds. He's won two grade ones, including the grade one Arkansas Derby and the grade one Haskell. In his last few races, he's looked pretty solid. Went in the mat win, finishing second. In the Travers behind Epicenter now. Well, we took a different approach in that race. They sent him to the lead. I don't really think he really likes to be on the lead too much, but he still finished second to one of my favorite horses, Epicenter. He's cutting back to a mile and an eight. He's two for two at the mile and an eight distance. He's won at four different racetracks. This is a talented three-year-old Cyberknife. I like Cyberknife a lot in this race. I'm going to definitely use the five horse trained by Brad Cox. Cyberknife on my tickets. Take a look at the six horse. We the people. You're most likely pace setter in this race. Win this debut at Oakland by five and three quarters. and Follow that up. Another win at Oakland by five. Didn't show up at all in Arkansas Derby. Well, next time out, he destroyed that Peter Pan field. Finished fourth in the Belmont. Second in the West Virginia Derby. Getting 12 to 1 on We the People. Written by Flavian Pratt. He'll definitely be on the lead, though. You may get a little company from B-Dog. Let's 
12 to 1 on the six horse. We the people. Then there's the seven horse, Tawny Port. I actually thought he was a synthetic horse until, well, until he ran in Lexington and won that race. And you know, next time out in the Kentucky Derby, he finished seven, but he was only four and three quarters behind and he made up some ground in that race. He also improved the speed figure as well. The next race after that in Ohio Derby, well, he won the Ohio Derby. Beating out Wider Barrio in Classic Causeway. Last time out, Saratoga and the Jim Dandy finished third behind Epicenter and Zandon. He is trained by Brad Cox. And he's ridden by Irad Ortiz. Get six to one on Tony Port. I will use Tony Port on my tickets. Then there's the eight horse, Tabor. Your morning line favorite at five to two. Tabor in his debut won by seven and a half. And in just his second race, won the Santa Anita Derby. Well, he raced him in the Kentucky Derby, and uh, that was just a little bit too much for Tabor. Tabor finished 12th in that race. Gave him a couple months off. Battle cyber knife pretty nicely in Haskell. Finished second. Tabor's trainer Bob Baffert since 2014 has won this race three times. I think Tabor's going to be kind of close to the pace. It's going to be hard to beat Tabor in this race. I am going to use Tabor on my tickets. Take a look at the nine horse simplification. Sired by not this time. I tell you, they were pretty high on, on him after the Fountain of Youth. He won that race by three and a half. He was the favorite in the Florida Derby. But uh, finished a disappointing third in that race. Next time out in the Kentucky Derby, did make the Super Factor finish in Florida, 35 to 1. Then ran in the Preakness, finished sixth. Gave him about two and a half months off. Came back into West Virginia. And finished third in the grade three West Virginia Derby. Getting 10 to 1 on simplification with Paco Lopez. Take a look at the 10 horse, Naval Aviator. It was 20 to 1. His last three races, he did pretty well. Got a couple wins. I'm second. But he hasn't been facing this kind of company or anywhere close to it. Kind of ambitious running him in this race. He is side by tapping. He's taking a huge step up in class. Getting 20 to 1 on the 10 horse. Naval Aviator. And there's the 11 horse. White Abario. At 8 to 1. I picked him to win the Florida Derby. Next time out in the Kentucky Derby, you know, finished very poorly. He was 16. I only pick him to win when he races at Gulfstream because he has yet to win away from Gulfstream. Getting 8 to 1 on White Barrio. Last time out in the Haskell, I have no idea what happened to that horse. Finishing 7. 34 lengths. Trained by Safi Joseph, ridden by Luis Saez. 11 horse white. A barrio is 8 to 1. These are the horses that I'm going to use on my tickets. I'm going to use Zandon. I'm going to use Cyberknife, Tony Port, and Tabor. The horse I'm going to pick to win Pennsylvania Derby. I'm going with the five horse at three to one. Trained by Brad Cox, written by Florian Giroux. I'm going with Cyberknife. Don't forget to like, share, subscribe. Let me know who you're picking in the Grade One Pennsylvania Derby. Good luck.